actually contact potential customers or buyers for your goods. And for instance, if you want to sell to uh, Hungary, uh, we'll actually find maybe eight or nine, ten potential customers for your product or service in Hungary. You come to the American consulate or embassy, you sit down, we'll actually bring those customers to you. We will actually do some prior investigation, make sure that the companies we match up with you and bring to you are reputable, uh, have solid credentials, uh, and, uh, and we've done some investigation for them. And then we bring them in every half hour. You just sit there, we bring them in. Every half hour, it's kind of like speed dating. All right, speed dating. <laughs> and I tell you, so many companies that I've talked to who have used the Gold Key Matching Service swear by it and say that 60, 70% of their revenues have come from customers that our foreign commercial service officers found for them through the Gold Key Matching Service. So call 1-800-USA-TRADE. Um, Pennsylvania businesses that want to take advantage of these services really don't have to look far because they can just visit our uh, Export Assistance Center here in Philadelphia, which have really already written a whole host of successful uh, trade stories, export success stories. In the past year alone, Philadelphia's Export Assistance Center has worked with local businesses and helped them generate sales to foreign customers to the tune of $142 million. Just last year alone, here in Philadelphia, uh, Solar Technology, for example, an Allentown manufacturer of solar power traffic control systems, uh, knew it wanted to try to sell its products in Great Britain. So it contacted our Commerce Department and our foreign commercial service officers here in Philadelphia and in the UK worked with uh, Solar Technology, provided them some advice, uh, found some potential customers for them. Actually, they have discovered opportunities for uh, Solar Technology for the 2012 London Olympics. And the result of our matchmaking uh, Solar Technology closed a deal to sell some $230,000 worth of equipment uh, to uh, uh, the UK. So we have a lot of services. We want to help manufacturers here in uh, Philadelphia and throughout Pennsylvania, so take advantage of what we offer. But why exports? Why should people care about exports? You know, with traditional drivers of the U.S. economic growth like consumer and business spending facing stiff, stiff headwinds, it's never been more important for our companies to increase their sales to the 95% of the world's consumers who live outside the borders of America. Think about that. 95% of the world's consumers live outside the United States. So if you want to sell, you've got to sell to where those customers are, and that's outside the U.S., because for all of America's economic strengths, we actually stand out among developed nations as one of the few whose government does not have a focused, comprehensive export strategy. As a result, only 1% of American companies export. That's significantly below the number of percentage of companies around the world that export. Less than 1% of American companies export, but of those who do export, 58% export to only one country. 58% of all U.S. companies that export, export to only one country. So if we can help that company that exports to Canada, export to Mexico. If we can help the company that exports to the U.K., export to France. Or if they export to Europe, to export to Latin America or to Asia. Think of the incredible amount of new exports that would, would occur. Think of how much more that American factories will produce, and think of how many more people those factories will hire and employ. As I said, the National Export Initiative has a goal of doubling our U.S. exports over the next five years and supporting some two million new jobs. It's an aggressive goal, but these challenging times demand no less. Too many people are out of work, and while all the economic indicators are positive and rosy, the, the output of America, what we make and sell, uh, has been growing over the last three quarters. Consumer confidence is up. Factory orders are up. Uh, and and uh, all these positive signs. Still too many millions of people out of work. And as far as the president is concerned, until every person who wants a job 
has a job, the recovery is not complete. And so there's never been any question that American companies make goods and services desired all around the world. The federal government just has to do a better job of connecting those foreign customers with the great American companies like Penn Fishing Tackle Manufacturing and companies all around Pennsylvania to those opportunities. The National Export Initiative is designed to do just that. And so we want to thank you very much for being here. And all of us now are free to entertain a couple of questions uh, from any of the companies that might be here and asking questions about how the governor, how the state, how the Congress, how the, the mayor's office, and certainly we in the Commerce Department can help you succeed and help you sell more things all around the world and creating more jobs here in America at the same time. We want to help you sell America-made goods and services. Thank you very much.